Hey, how's it going? Sean Ryan, Vigilance Elite. Seems kind of fitting to review some survival stuff right now. So I've been sitting on this BioLite for three or four months now. My friend told me about it and I've been meaning to review it. And now with the uh, global pandemic going on, now seems like the perfect time to review it. So basically what this is, is it's kind of like a little survival stove but um, you can charge your phone on it. So <clears throat> you can cook on it, you can, it comes with a light, yeah, you can charge your phone or whatever else you wanna charge kind of devices. It's got a little USB thing and uh, the fire powers the external battery pack which charges your phone. So pretty cool. Let's see what's in this thing. All right guys, so what we got in the box here is instructions. Which nobody ever reads. We have a bag to put all this stuff in for when you head out in the bush. It comes with uh, a little bit of fire starting stuff. An LED light that is powered by USB so you can see what you're cooking or anything else you wanna see. You got your USB charger charge your phones up um, this is the actual stove it's got these little legs on it helps keep it balanced and then finally this is the cool part this is your power supply okay so basically what happens it has a little fan right here and it blows air on the fire and disperses it through these little holes inside of here and uh, helps with the combustion now supposedly when this thing has a fire in it, it's completely smokeless because of the air, which is pretty cool. This collects the heat, which charges your power source. And then open this flap right here. The USB fits right in there like that, obviously, just like a charger. And then uh, you can charge all your electronic devices from there. So <clears throat> a little closer look at this thing. Down here, you can actually charge it without a fire too and just plug it straight into the wall before you head out. And uh, then you have a uh, fully charged external power source. And right here you have uh, some LED indicators. This one is uh, your battery, so how much charge this thing has, your power supply. This is your fan speed, and then which has four different settings. And then over here, this is kind of like your fire rating, how hot it is, I guess. So um, to turn it on, you just click it once. It'll tell you how charged it is. We just came it out of the, we just pulled it out of the box. It's got two bars um, to power. Click it twice, and your fan starts up. Your fan has four settings. I don't know if you guys can hear that all the way over there, but here's where the fan's blowing out of, all right? And then to turn it off, you just hold the power button in. So, this thing just hooks on here like this, all right? This uh, goes in this hole right here. This clips in here, and then you open this leg and it kind of locks it down. Here we go. Open this up right here. Let's plug this light in, see if it works. Yep. Just like that. You just touch this thing and it turns on and off. All right. So pull that off and uh, 
All right, let's go get some uh, branches. See how long it takes to uh, charge this thing up. So as you guys can see, let me turn this torch over here. This is the LED for the batteries over here on the green. The fan is the blue. And then the fire rating is the red. So there's a little bit of smoke coming out because the kindling I'm using. But um, once that's finished up and burned up, uh, I have a feeling the smoke's going to disappear which is pretty cool. So, keep feeding this. Breaking these little twigs down, throwing them in there. All right, so we're just breaking some branches up here. Feed this thing. You don't want to put anything too big in there because eventually you're going to probably want to cook on here. But um, I say start off just like building any fire. They want to start off with something small and work your way up bigger. They say don't put anything wet in there. It's been raining here nonstop, so uh, that's kind of hard right now. But I'm gonna turn it a little bit and try not to burn myself, but uh, so we're already at about 75% charged. It's only been about five minutes, and so I brought my phone out here. It's completely dead. Let's see how long it takes to uh, give it a charge. So, here we go. All right, we'll start it at 420. So while we're waiting here for the phone to charge, I'm just gonna boil some water. So since we're in the middle of a pandemic here, water, there's a water shortage. So typical rule of thumb is boiling water when you want to uh, make it potable so you can drink it and um, boil it for one minute. I believe if it's 6,000 feet or above, then uh, you wanna boil it for three minutes, I believe, so.
All right, so we got a charge. It is about 434. So I guess it took about 14 minutes. This thing has been dead for a couple of days now. And uh, so it always takes a while, even with the wall charger. But uh, about 14 minutes from dead to power up. So on an iPhone. So that's pretty cool. And uh, this thing's pretty neat. This still isn't charged all the way. We've been out here for probably about a half hour, but I've had the fan speed on high the entire time. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit higher. So if it does start smoking, just increase the fan speed a little bit and the smoke completely goes away, all right? Uh, plus, we have a little bit of a smoke issue because, like I said, it's been raining here where I live for the past month. It's been the wettest season, and uh, it's like we got a record-breaking rain season here right now. So we're dealing with that. But the water is already starting to boil here, and it's only been on for about two minutes. So that's pretty cool, very efficient. And um, yeah, if you guys want to pick this thing up, you can click the link below. It's in my Amazon shop. And a uh, good little piece of kit to have, I think. So, all right. See you guys soon. By the way, if you guys want to support the channel, or if you want any uh, tactical training, check out my Patreon. <laughs>